Welcome to our homeschool. This afternoon we are doing science. My first task is to review the plan for the day and to gather all the materials together. After my helpers have brought all the supplies into the kitchen area, it is time to begin. We are starting today by making cake. No, we are not doing chemistry. You'll have to wait until later in the video to find out how we're using it. We cut our cake recipe in half, so it was also a great opportunity to do some math with the kids, and we also practiced our measuring. cake is in the oven and now it is time to pull out our science books. We are using Real Science Odyssey Life by Pandaya Press. I purchased the digital version and printed and bound them myself. I start by reading the kids the text that's at the beginning of the unit. This unit is about the circulatory system. After we read the text of the curriculum, I decide to pull out some additional books we have on the human body. These are both books from Usborne, and I will link them below. The pictures are really useful in helping us understand the circulatory system. The first lab today is about heart rates, so I took the kids' heart rates after different activities. The first was sitting still. I found finding my kids' heart rates a little tricky, especially with my son who would open close his hand and move around a bit as I was trying to find it. But we persisted, trying different activities, including running around the kitchen. Jumping jacks. And after all that activity, lying down on the couch. As I was measuring their heart rates, I had my daughters write hers on her worksheet. I just wrote my sons down for him. Then when we were all done, we went ahead and times each by three, since we were doing 20 second increments, and that gave us how many beats per minute for each activity. Then my daughter filled out this graph that has activities down one axis and heartbeats per minute across the other. So she also got some practice with graphs in this lab.
The cake is out of the oven, we've had a little bit of a break, and everybody has a snack. And now it's time to start the second part of our unit. I decided to do both labs one and two on the same day for this unit because they are both about the circulatory system. It may be wiser, however, to split the labs onto separate days when you have kids this young. Regardless, we are going to learn more about blood and its components. We started with a lab page where we colored in the different parts of blood, including plasma, red blood cells, platelets, and white blood cells. Then we made a physical model of blood using corn syrup as plasma, red hot candies as red blood cells, lima beans as white blood cells, and lentils as platelets. I bought corn syrup specifically for this recipe because I don't use it in my home. And were I to do it over again, I would probably just use like a light colored oil um, that's not too expensive, maybe some, like a canola oil, which I sometimes use in baking, because now I have a jar of corn syrup that I'm probably just going to throw out. Not that we normally have all the candy around either, but I figure it can be eaten and given away, and we will use the beans. Remember that cake? It is about to become a blood model too. Less realistic since it is not a liquid, but decidedly more delicious. I used some yellow food coloring to give the frosting a hint of yellow, so that would represent the plasma. We are using red M&Ms as red blood cells. Silver cake decorating balls as platelets. And white jelly beans as white blood cells. I think they're coconut flavored. we ended our evening by having our blood cake as dessert after dinner. Please excuse my son's atrocious manners. It's a work in progress. Thank you for joining us on this long afternoon of science. I hope you are all well and I will talk to you later.